Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy and today I am bringing you a blood glucose and ketones test on a very popular item. You guys have been sending me messages, DMs, that you have been commenting on all my videos that this needs to be tested. So today we are testing Carb Quick. And this is basically like the keto friendly Bisquick, we hope. I'm gonna check this out, see if it spikes my blood glucose, if it knocks me out of ketosis. We're gonna get all the information on Carb Quick today. I will link this where I purchased it in the description box because I had to get it off Amazon. It's nowhere to be found in my area. I do these tests frequently for you guys, so I have an entire playlist. I'll put that right here if you wanna go check it out. I have had some horrifying results that may save you. So go check out that playlist so you'll know what's safe and what's not. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead. I'd love to have you as a member of my YouTube family and hit that notification bell so when I upload, you'll be one of the first to know. I do have an Instagram page. It'll be right here for you guys. And I do before and after photos over there. I do post on my stories daily. So make sure you come over there and join. There is a Facebook group that's absolutely amazing. I say this every single time. It's over 14,000 members now. If you're doing low carb, if you're doing keto, lazy, dirty, whatever, just come on over. If you are doing strict keto or clean keto, this may not be the group for you, but I'm sure you can find one out there. There's no keto police in this one and we're all encouraging and supportive. So make sure you check it out. It'll be in the description. You can click on it and it'll take you right on over. So now we're going to go over all of the carb quick information that I feel like you need to know before we get started. In my opinion, this is a dirty keto item. So if you're watching this and you're doing clean or strict keto, you may wanna click off of it and find another video. But let's go over your macros and ingredients first. Right here on the side are your macros. So your nutritional facts on this are 90 calories, six fats, you have 16 total carbs with 14 dietary fiber, and that leaves you with two net carbs, six protein. Now, let's go over these ingredients. The main ingredient in this is carbolose flour. Exactly what the name says, carb olose flour. And in that are enzyme-enriched wheat, I know, Vital wheat gluten, wheat fiber, high protein patent wheat flour, soy fiber, canola oil, salt, emulsifiers, enzymes, absorbic acid. Then the rest of your ingredients includes palm and palm kernel oil, buttermilk powder, baking powder, egg white powder, lecithin salt, and natural flavors. Now you know why I say this is definitely going to be considered a dirty keto item, so do not watch this if you're clean keto because all of those words I just read will probably trigger you. <laughs> this box has a ton of different recipes on here. We have the Carb Quick Cheddar Cheese Biscuits, there's pizza dough, there's waffles, there's chicken parmesan, turkey veggie pot pie, of course, over here on the very side panel, you have all of the favorites, which would be biscuits, pancakes, breading mix. Then on the inside of the box, it says carb quick brownies, cinnamon rolls, muffins, sausage gravy. There's a lot of recipes going on in here. The possibilities for this, if it does not knock me out of ketosis or spike my blood glucose, are endless. The price on this off of Amazon is around $14 a box. Now let's go over some information before we get started with the test, just in case you want to know. The monitor that I'm using today is the Keto Mojo and I like it because it is a dual monitor. I can test my blood glucose and I can also test my ketones all in one monitor. All I need is the different strips and that works for me. Really convenient and I don't have to lug around two different monitors. I do have a discount code for the Keto Mojo. You can get a bundle for like $49. It's not extremely expensive. I'll have it linked in the description box. Just click on it and it'll take you to it. If you don't need a dual monitor, you already have a blood glucose machine, you can pick up the Keto Coach. It'll also be linked below and it is strictly a ketones monitor. So I do this in every video and this is so you know exactly what we're looking for in this test. I'm gonna read directly off of the Keto Mojo website so that you know. 
Keto Mojo says, generally speaking, you don't want your blood sugar to spike more than 30 milligrams from your baseline. So from your fasting blood sugar. And ideally your blood sugar should return to baseline within two hours. If it doesn't, you may have had an insulin response to this food and you may want to eliminate or reduce it from your diet. So let's recap. We do not want to spike over 30 at any point during this test. And by the time we get to our two hour mark, we want to be going back down towards the fasting numbers that we had. So for reference, I'm not going to be eating anything else. I'm not going to be drinking anything during this time frame. not even water. That's just my own personal preference. I want a true test. The reason that I'm making the biscuit recipe for this one is because the only thing that it calls for in the ingredients is the carb quick and water. I also have not had any exogenous ketones in the last 24 hours, so I'm trying to keep everything as true as possible so we can get an accurate reading. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's test. Let me show you the shirt I'm wearing today because it is extremely appropriate. Ready? Boom. Carb wars. Do you guys ever just have one of those mornings where you do not want to get out of bed? It's cloudy here today, so I feel like I'm running in slow motion. We're going to go ahead and take my fasting numbers and see how those turn out. This is going to be my glucose this morning. 84. And now let's see where my ketones are at. 0 0.9. So I am burning ketones. I'm going to be testing the carb quick in form of the biscuit because the biscuit recipe right here, simple drop biscuits only takes two cups of the carb quick and water. So I think that's going to be the cleanest for me to check if this is the ingredient that affects me. So this is what your carb quick looks like. Looks <laughs> just like Bisquick. And all I have to do is take two cups of this and then two thirds cup water to make a biscuit dough. This recipe makes eight biscuits. I used my little scooper to get them as even as possible so that they're all about the same size. Each one of these biscuits is supposed to be two net carbs. These are gonna bake for around 10 to 12 minutes. This is what they look like when they're all done. I do wanna cut one of these open for you just so you can see the consistency. Okay, here's what the biscuit looks like. We came outside, better lighting of course. And I have cut it open so you can see what it looks like on the inside. There's no gritty texture. It is absolutely the consistency of a biscuit. And so when you add butter to this or jelly, <laughs> it's pretty tasty, especially when you've been without a biscuit for what, a year and a half now? <laughs> Here's the bottom, it crisps up like a biscuit. Um, yeah, this is basically a biscuit, people. Okay, I'm not gonna put anything on this, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat. So while these were cooking, I went ahead and took my shower, washed my face, put some clothes on, and now we're gonna eat a biscuit. These are good. I love them, personally. Not gonna lie though, if you're coming from straight off eating carbs and you're just starting keto or a low carb lifestyle, you're gonna be able to tell a difference, a slight difference in the taste. But when you've been on keto as long as me and my family at this point, this tastes just like a real biscuit. My girls are obsessed with these. You already know I love crunchy food, so this golden brown bottom is my favorite. I really wanna load this up with like butter and jelly, but I'm not going to. We're gonna stay true and only test the biscuit. I could think of worse ways to spend my morning. Okay, last bite, and then we're gonna check the time. Nine, 10, can you guys see that? So I will see you back in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm back, I managed to get ready. We are going to go ahead and do our 30 minute test. It is 9.41 now. My phone's dirty, sorry. Let's see, can you guys see that? 
I was honestly expecting a much larger spike than that. Anybody else? I, I'm sort of speechless. So my fasting blood glucose, in case you don't remember, was 84. And then 30 minutes after eating, it's 94. So we went up 10. We're gonna see what happens at the one hour and two hour because the two hour is really your true test. If it's not started going completely back down towards baseline, that means you're having a response. So crossing my fingers on this. Exactly one hour since I ate my carb quick biscuit. So let's check the blood glucose now. Ouch, <laughs> I used a different finger than normal. Uh, use this one, go for this one. This one's less sensitive. Don't use your pointer finger. Okay, there we go. Let's see what we got now. 95. Fasting blood glucose was 84. 30 minutes after eating the biscuit, it was at 94. And at the one hour mark, I'm at 95. So I'm only at 11 point spike. That's pretty good in my opinion. I'm, I'm honestly flabbergasted. Again, I'm going to say this a million times during this video. Dirty keto. More of a low carb food really because these ingredients but so far only 11 point spike after one hour we're going to come back at the two hour mark and see where we're at but at this point i am extremely hopeful okay i am back and it is 11 11 so it's been exactly two hours since i ate the biscuit I'm starting out with the blood glucose because that's just the one I always start out with. Have it, I guess. Okay, can you guys see? 91. Now let's check the ketones and see where they're at. 0 0.8. Okay, well, let's talk conclusion. I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked because this is probably the third time I have fixed the biscuits. The first time I ate one and I thought this cannot have a good effect on my blood glucose or ketones. The second time I made them for my kids, I didn't even eat one because I was like, no, 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 no. And then of course today for this test and I'm amazed. I honestly am. I don't know what this flower is that's used. I'm definitely going to be doing some more research on that. Yeah, there's questionable ingredients in here. Not going to lie, but you got a kid that's doing low carb and you're trying to transition them over. This is going to be your go-to. I cannot wait to try out some more recipes like this. We already talked about the numbers. I started out with my fasting blood glucose of 84 and at the end of the two hour mark, we are at 91. I'm fine with that. That That is no effect in my opinion. And my ketone levels in the very beginning were 0 0.9 and now they're 0 0.8. Of course, your ketone levels are gonna fluctuate and it has been over two hours. I have exerted some energy, so I've used some ketones. I mean, I wasn't running a marathon or cleaning or anything like that. I was sort of, you know, getting ready. I was putting a video together, just, you know, normal everyday things. So you do burn ketones during that as your fuel. I'm happy. I honestly, if you are doing low carb or extremely dirty keto, in my opinion, as far as I'm concerned, this is going to be a new staple in my household. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to try everything that's going on here and see just how good it tastes. So make sure you watch for upcoming videos of what I eat in a day because there's going to be recipes involving carb quick. Now tell me what you all thought. Is this something that you would consider trying? Is it something that you would want to add to your keto, dirty keto lifestyle? I mean, everyone's different. Everybody does this their specific way. I'm not bashing clean keto, strict keto. I am not bashing low carb. I think you need to figure out what journey works for you and do that one. It's all about your health and not someone else imposing their opinion on you. If you have a product you want me to check in the next video, go ahead and put it in the comments below and I'll add it to the list. I have a list about six feet long. I'm trying to get to them people, but I only want to do a blood glucose test once a week. Give my finger time to heal. Yeah, I know I got nine others. But <laughs>
<laughs> this one's my favorite. All products and extra information are going to be linked in the description box for you. I'll see you guys next time and I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. Bye.